Imagine being able to listen to music and see strokes of color adapting and moving to every note, bursts of blues and reds with every beat, like a magical painting that is alive and only you can see it. Well, some people don't have to imagine because this is reality for them. Hello, and welcome to the show about fun facts and a little bit of science. Today, we are talking about synesthesia. It is a neurological condition in which simulation of one sensory or cognitive pathway leads to automatic, involuntary experiences in a secondary, sensory, or cognitive pathway, or simply if someone hears something, they may see something in, in response, like uh, hearing music may generate colors, or seeing someone's name may generate a taste. This all sounds pretty crazy, but... Why haven't we heard of this before? Well, it's not a common condition. Research suggests that about 1 in 2,000 people have synesthesia. They are called synesthites. I, I'm not going to have a hard time with these words. They are called synesthites, I, th I think. Some researchers believe that there are varying levels of this and may affect 1 in 300 people. That actually sounds pretty common. Yeah, it's just that not everyone may know they have it, and with many types of synesthesia, the intensity can vary. And that word's going to be really hard for me the whole episode. But first, be sure to like this video if you're enjoying it, and consider subscribing so that I can, you know, <laughs> just, just hit those goals. So, what exactly is happening here? Well, your senses may tend to mix and mingle. The result might be what others could only experience through hallucinogens. It's as if you have expanded your mind into a fourth dimension. You can taste shapes or see music. Actually, the scene from Ratatouille where Remy is eating a describing taste to his brother? That is synesthesia. <laughs> the wild part here is that some people have this and don't know it's unique or that it even has a name. The musician Marina Diamandis, aka Marina and the Diamonds, has synesthesia. When you listen to her music, just imagine what it must be like for her and what the creation process must be like. Where does it come from? Most of the time, people are born with it or develop it very early on and maybe genetically inherited. I suppose if you were born with this, then it would be completely normal for you. And depending on how intense it is, you may not even realize that it is unique. Much like having an inner monologue or not having an inner monologue at all. It's a surprise to a lot of people, and you can watch my other video to learn more about that. We have five senses. Each sense stimulates a different area of your brain. If you have synesthesia, you may feel like you can taste a color when you look at it, which would light up two different areas of your brain simultaneously. Not every synesthite experiences the same thing. There are several types of combinations of synesthesia. The examples include Graphene color synesthesia, letters and words may have colors associated with them, sound to color synesthesia, scene color with music or other audio, and number form synesthesia, seeing a mental map of numbers that appears subconsciously when thinking of numbers. Regardless of which type you may or may not have, everyone seems to experience similar symptoms. Involuntary connection of senses, like hearing colors, tasting shapes, Sensory triggers that consistently cause cross-connection of senses. Seeing a number might always generate a color. You may be more likely to be left-handed and have a strong interest in music and art. And research suggests it is more common in women than in men. How do you treat this? Well, you, you don't. Not that many people actually want to treat this. However, some people do feel that this condition isolates them from others. If you have this and you do feel isolated because your friends are a bunch of lame normies, you may find comfort with other groups of synesthites. Reddit or Facebook may be a good way to connect with others. You can also speak with mental health professionals in hopes to see the value in your unique way of living out life. And here's a quick list of musicians and artists that have this. Beyonce, Billy Joel, Pharrell Williams, Barry J. Blige, the list goes on and this is just a few of them. And then there are artists like Van Gogh and Kandinsky. Do you think you may have synesthesia? If you're interested in seeing if you may have this, 
there are ways to take online tests and I'll be sure to leave a link in the description so you can try it yourself. Okay, and that's cool and all, but if I don't have synesthesia, then how the heck can I experience this incredible world of ratatouille? Well, psychedelic drugs would do the trick. <laughs> it's just that, well, you know, in most areas on this planet, you can't get a hold of psychedelics, let alone legally take them. For the sake of knowledge and science, though, I'm going to do some right now for all of you to learn. All right, no, I'm not. But the list of known psychedelics include mescaline, psilocybin, and LSD. There have been real scientific studies behind their connection to this. And while that may be unlikely for you to try, you could attempt using cannabis if it's legal where you are, alcohol, and even caffeine to cause temporary synesthesia. But consult your doctor first. <laughs> and as always, thanks for watching, and what did you learn today?